should you buy or skip the MacBook Air M3. I've been testing a brand new MacBook Air 13 inch and 15 inch powered by the M3 chip. Let's talk about whether you should spend your money on these machines. So the M3 chips were introduced with the MacBook Pros, but now we're seeing it trickle down to the MacBook Air, which is Apple's most popular line of laptops. The MacBook Air is the overall best laptop for most people. It has a perfect balance of performance, portability, and awesome battery life. That said, for 1099, do you really need the MacBook Air M3, especially with the M2 versions, which feature the same design, comparable performance, same display, and a lower price? So you have some choices if you're looking for a brand new MacBook. The first reason I think you should get the MacBook Air M3 is because this is now the most affordable MacBook with an M3 chip. You get faster Wi-Fi 6E, ray tracing for gaming, and dual screen support for external monitors. Even though you have to keep the laptop closed, it makes for a better work machine. It's worth pointing out that in our benchmark test, we find that the M3 chip inside the MacBook Air is comparable to the same M3 chip found in the MacBook Pro 14 inch. We also found that while the M3 chip isn't that much more powerful than the M2 chip, it is a lot faster than the M1 chip in the original MacBook Air that came out in 2020. The full M3 benchmark breakdown is now live on tomsguide.com. With that, you should also get the MacBook Air M3 if you value battery life. In our proprietary battery test, we found that the MacBook Air M3 lasts an astonishing 15 hours and three minutes, which is amazing. Of course, that has a lot to do with the fact that the M3 chip is more efficient. The last reason to get a MacBook Air, and this is crazy, it's actually good enough for gaming. Now that means a lot coming from me as a longtime Windows PC gamer. I'm not gonna say MacBooks are on that level yet, but we're getting there. We're getting some awesome titles, Death Stranding, Lies of P, Baldur's Gate, Resident Evil. They all look and run absolutely phenomenally on this laptop. That being said, the first reason to skip the MacBook Air M3 is also gaming. Even though Apple has made a pretty noble attempt at making gaming better for Macs, it's still not where I would want it to be. Unfortunately, developer support, this isn't there yet. There are better gaming laptops available. I also think you should skip the MacBook Air M3 if you're someone that needs a lot of ports. That's one of the trade-offs you have to make with such a thin laptop. The limited port selection is one of the reasons why people may want to get a MacBook Pro, which has a lot of ports instead. Speaking of other laptops you should buy, the final reason you shouldn't get the MacBook Air M3 is because MacBook Air M2 is still around. The MacBook Air M2 used to be 1099 like the MacBook Air M3, but now it's been discounted to 999, making it the cheapest MacBook available. That price point is excellent for students, casual users, and people who may be new to MacBooks or Macs in general. And as I was saying before, the performance difference between M2 and M3 isn't that big of a deal for most people. As someone who does some gaming, some work, and if I need a new machine, I would absolutely consider the MacBook Air M3. While the M2 Air is excellent at its price, you should still consider getting the M3 Air if you want the latest Apple hardware and a laptop that's more future-proof. More than ever, when it comes to performance, the line is blurred between the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. What do you think? Is this your next laptop? Let me know in the comments below. Check out my full review over at tomsguide.com. Find us on socials at Tomsguide. Once again, I was Tony Polanco, and I'll see you next time. Later.